All right, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Frank and in today's video we are looking at microphones. So to give you guys a little bit of a backstory as to why I decided to make this review, um, I've only been making YouTube videos for a very short period of time, so I don't have all the fancy equipment or the most expensive um, things out there. So if you're like myself, you may have spent some time reviewing different items to try and see what would be the best thing uh, in order to start off your YouTube channel. I've decided to go with a few budget options. Uh, now this is an actual budget option because I've seen videos that claim to review different budget items, but they turn up, you know, end up being thousand dollar cameras or thousand dollar tripods. Um, this microphone here is $35 Canadian on Amazon. And this one came to about $70 Canadian. So they are still reasonably priced in my opinion. So hopefully these are some things that you may want to consider. Now, the whole reason behind this is the first video that I made uh, was just horrible. I mean, the sound quality uh, was horrendous, but again, hey, uh, it's uploaded, it's there, whatever. But I did learn from my mistake and what I've done since then is I've gone out and purchased the uh, Boya BYMM1 in order to try and get better sounding quality. After buying this, I realized, you know what? It's sort of limiting in terms of how I can set up everything uh, because the microphone has to be within uh, a relatively close range. So maybe three to four feet, uh, which limits you. If you want to place your camera in different positions or you want to get a little bit further, um, you don't really have that option. So that's something I only learned after the fact. So what I did is then went ahead and purchased the Diety V-Lav Lavalier microphone that also happened, one of the reasons why I went in this option is it has about five gazillion feet of cable. Uh, it's actually 16 feet or five meters. So it gives you a lot of room to play with. Um, some people complain that the cable management is very difficult but it's because it's just so long. Uh, but honestly, I mean, you just roll it when you're done. It's not that big of an issue. Again, for the freedom that it gives you, uh, it's nothing. Uh, so this just plug, both of them can be just plugged into your camera uh, and record the sound directly on the camera. But this one, again, it's mounted on my shirt right now. So I can keep it close to my mouth. So it gives me the same quality of sound regardless of how far you get uh, from the microphone. This one, uh, or what I'll try to do for this video is just write whatever uh, microphone I'm using um, for the footage that you're seeing. I'll try to write it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but most of the in camera or me talking to the camera will be this microphone. And whenever I do the voiceover, when I start doing the editing, I will try to do the Boya because the best results that I get for this microphone I find is when I just put it on my desk and do some voiceover. So I, I really have to be close to the microphone in order for it to give me uh, decent quality. Again, this is my opinion because I understand that this is a $35 microphone. So the quality is also what you pay for. Um, so I'm not saying that it's, it's a miserable, horrible microphone. It's just in my opinion, uh, you know, for the money that you pay, it's very good. But I find that this uh, ended up giving me better results. So before we begin our comparison, I just want to point out that for both microphones, I will simply be recording directly into my camera without any editing or without processing the sound in any way, shape or form. So this is really what you get directly out of both microphones. So let's start things off with a more detailed look at the Boya BY-MM1 and what you get in the box. So you have your aluminum microphone, which is a shotgun microphone. In the box, you also get a windscreen, you have a soft case and two cables. You have a 3.5 millimeter TRS output cable for your cameras, and you also get a 3.5 millimeter TRRS for your smartphones or laptops, depending on how you want to record. So the Boya also comes with a standard shock mount if you want to mount the microphone on top of your camera, or like in this case, I just screw it onto a small tripod that I put on my desk whenever I need to record. And it also comes with a faux leather travel bag. So for the price, I would say that the Boya's sound quality is decent and definitely an improvement over what you get on a regular onboard microphone with most cameras. You should also make sure that this shotgun style microphone works for you in terms of your setup 
because in order to get the best possible results, you really do need to be within roughly two feet of the microphone to get the best possible sound quality. Moving on now to our second microphone, the Deity VLAV. This microphone comes with five meters or 16 feet of cable, which is something I absolutely love. It has a 3.5 millimeter input that works with most cameras, smartphones, audio recorders, your Mac or your PC. Also included in the box, you have a nice little carrying case that it's sturdy enough that you can throw it in your bag and not worry about damaging the microphone. It has a second cover for the microphone and surprisingly a white um, windscreen. Now, unless you're shooting with a white t-shirt, it kind of limits you or at least it doesn't really do a good job at hiding the microphone. Uh, because it's just a big white furry ball that you're going to have to wear. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I was also surprised to see that they included a cleaning kit in the box, which is something I had never seen in other microphones or any of the reviews that I had watched online before. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, this is the information I was able to find online directly from their website. And it explains that the battery power is only used when the VLAV is determining how to adapt to the microphone input that you've plugged it into. After the VLAB has adapted to your device, the microphone capsule then uses the voltage from your device and puts the LR41 batteries back to sleep. So hopefully this will help you guys figure out what the best option is for you if you are also starting a YouTube channel. Uh, the next thing I'm trying to improve, by the way, is the lighting. Um, because again, trial and error, I mean, I'm not 100% satisfied with the lighting that I have right now. So I have a few things coming in this week that I'll try out, test, um, most likely review and show you guys so you can also have an idea of how I'm playing around with my lighting. Uh, and then eventually this will culminate into a review of all the items that I've used so far in order to try and improve this YouTube channel. And at the same time, give you guys, the viewers, a much better experience. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you did, if it did help you in trying to, you know, make up your mind, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that you give this video a like, uh, and also maybe drop a comment letting me know what you would like to see next. I know I've done a lot of shoe reviews because that's, sort of one of the things that I really enjoy. Uh, but I will also try to focus on uh, a little bit more of the tech aspect of the channel because after all, this is uh, what is tech, fashion, lifestyle and more. So I don't want to leave out all the other things from my reviews. So enjoy the video and uh, hopefully this helps you guys make up your mind. Have a good one.